was the grandest thing. It was the highest form that you had. It's wobbling right now. It's changing. As a human, you will find that it will cause perhaps a few distractions in your life. It will cause even a few collisions. But allow this process to take place and you're going to find that it truly opens you to this thing that we've talked about recently, going beyond the mind, sans definition, opening into new realms. Allow the wobbling. Matter of fact, right now, just wobble in your seat. Please, don't be embarrassed. I just did it. Wobble in your seat. Shake. <laughs> See how good that feels? I'm going to recommend to all of you to get up in the morning and wobble. Oh, we know you almost fall over sometime, but literally shake the energy in your body and in your brain. Let it, let it open up and expand, for that is all it is trying to do right now. Right now, right now the energy is moving, as Adama said, and right now on earth is the time for new energy artists. As I said, an artist is one who explores. An artist is the pioneer. Don't think in terms of just, just painting or drawing. Think in terms of an artist as one who experiences something that has not been experienced or done before. An artist immerses themselves into the newness, into the openness, tries it, feels it, and then shares it with others. That is my definition of an artist. And right now the world needs new energy artists just like you. The world needs the ones who will go off into the new areas of consciousness. And that is exactly what Chamber is doing. When we say that you are truly the first going into this new energy, we truly mean it. No exaggeration. You're the ones allowing yourself to open up, to go beyond, to go beyond the beyond into these new areas. When you do, you open a type of barrier or what would have been a doorway, but a closed door that leads into a grander, bigger, and more dynamic energy for all of consciousness. Whether you are asleep at night, whether you are conscious during the day, this is what all of you, bar none, are doing right now. You're going into these new realms. You are what used to be your thoughts have turned into feelings, and even going beyond that into the pure realms of the sun's definition. In order for humanity in general and the other levels, what you call the angelic levels, to move smoothly, gracefully into the new energy, it needs pioneers. It needs new energy artists. In order for these technological developments that St. Germain talked about last month to take place on Earth. The new energy artists are needed to go out into these realms. That is exactly what you have been doing. In order for spirituality to evolve on Earth right now, to go beyond some of the old and restrictive concepts of God and heaven and the angels, in order to move beyond that into a new understanding of a living God, of a compassionate God, and a God that is in this reality right now embodied in you. The world needs the new energy artists. So that's what you do. You go through consciousness barriers 
We're doing it right now together. You may say, Katumi, but I don't realize that I'm doing anything. Hmm. But you are. You're letting yourself expand. You're letting yourself go beyond what were the old concepts. What was the old you? What were the old limitations? You are truly the new energy artists. I will keep my discussion here today short because we are allowing the energy to come in in so many different ways. But I will say that it's, it's time, my, perhaps my call to action for all of you is for the new energy artist to ignite, for you to ignite, for you to ignite that new energy fire that is here available to you to do something, as St. Germain said last month. Start anything to ignite that creative flow of energy in your life right now. Tobias has said it. St. Germain has said it. I will say it also. It's time for you to do something creative. Now, have no expectation of the results or the outcome. Just do it for the experience for the pleasure of doing it. Does it ne doesn't necessarily mean it's going to make you rich or successful or popular overnight. But the whole idea is just to experience it. Once you ignite the new energy fire within you, you get it going, you get it flowing, you'll move beyond an intellectual concept of new energy of being a new energy artist. Move beyond the concept of what we have called creativity. You truly begin to experience and, and to understand in the most powerful level. It's time to do something. It's time to ignite that new energy within. Let us join hands again. In, in this moment, I would like to thank and honor all of you. You've all come from diverse backgrounds in this lifetime, coming from many different parts of the world, many different professions, many different backgrounds as children. But there was one thing that all of you, all of us, had in common, a desire, a desire to, to make this the lifetime a desire to, to discover in this lifetime what we'd worked so many lifetimes for, a desire to be the new energy artists at the forefront of this whole quantum leap. You're doing it. Oh, you, perhaps you look at your job that you have in the everyday world and you don't think you're making an impact on society or on the world. But now look at your job, your work that you are doing. As a metaphysician, a new energy artist, you are doing it. You are doing it. You are opening new realms. So, Mr. Belushi, Aikatumi, and all of the others, we'll just take this moment to send you our love, to send you our support, to encourage you into these next realms. The energy wobble wobble these months, particularly during the hottest part of this summer. It will wobble. Keep your sense of humor, understand it is appropriate, and understand, as Tobias would say, you are never alone. Namaste.